Today we taste deep fried history. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. This may sound shocking, but Americans were not the originators of fried food. Sadly. Actually, the first frying pans were created way back in 5th millennium BC Mesopotamia, and the first food believed to have ever been fried was cakes. So like ancient donuts. We don't know if there was a hole in the cake. I mean, that's you're just conjecturing at this point, okay. right? You don't know. Now, yeah. if the existence of fried beer is an indication, and that is a real thing, mm -hmm. uh, we humans have taken fried food to new and innovative and probably definitely unnecessary heights over the past few millennia. And let's see if we can guess how it got here, shall we? It's time for the Shuffleboard Game Fried Food Edition. Welcome to the Shuffleboard Game Zone. Yeah, in each round we're gonna be given an iconic or wild but real fried food, and then we're gonna have to guess when it was first created mm. by shuffling our pucks of fry ba ba bags. Fry, fry bags. Fry bags. Fry baskets. Fried dipper baskets, yeah. Down to the corresponding decade on our amazing shuffleboard. Whoever's closest to the correct decade wins the round. Bump fest rules still in effect, and the winner of the game will get their own personal serving of deep fried Sprite. I want it. Come on, Link, this is yours to win, I man. I want to find it. And good mythical more, let's shuffle. Wow. What do we have here? Tater tots. We're in tater tot territory. Oh, you yeah. got a double. Uh-huh. Double, oh, I got a triple. Ha-ha. <laughs> Congratulations, Rep. Man. I love a good tater tot. You know what people do? Some people bake these things. They're fried. If you want them to taste real good and be real good for you, fry, fry them, them again. again. Okay, Link. You won last time, so you have the disadvantage of shuffling first. So I'm trying to figure out the first tater tot? I wouldn't be surprised if tater tots were all the way back in 1890, to be completely honest. Go for it. But it kind of feels like there's a little bit of like a... Oops, that's an added... Tater tot on the board! I think there's a manufacturing process that was not... <laughs> I almost joked on the table. Here, Here yeah. it, this will help you. My mouth uh, is too small. Another hazard. I think there's a manufacturing process that it didn't exist in 1890, so I think this is 1920. Oh, dang. You really are reaching back there, still. A delicate... Oh, or 1990. Is the board slow this morning? I just think it's the fact that or I almost- are you weak? I almost choked on a tot. I hate that you accidentally did what you did because my answer- 1950? Is 1950. I could bump you and me land in 1950. This is a bump fest. But then that puts you in 1920, which would make you happy because that's your actual answer. I'm gonna send you to 1960. Okay. And I'm gonna land in 1950. Man, these are good. Be careful. They are good. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, see, I've given you. You your gave answer. me the answer, so I feel good about this. So this is this is a this is a gentleman's we, bump. Yeah, you got your answer. I got mine. The name tater tot is patented by the Orida Company, who created them after they realized they should do something with the scraps of their French fry making process. Tater tots made their official debut in Miami at the National Potato Convention. Yeah. In nineteen. 54. Ah, dang it. Nailed it. Nice ah. job, Link. That Sprite's looking better every day. <laughs> I'm good at unclosing things because I work on this show. Yeah, you wouldn't be good without working on the show. I, I don't, don't know what that is. is. You're not great at dispensing of the cloche. That's probably not what you should That's do. not what you did? I mean, I work on this show and I place it back Oh, there. so yeah. far though. Is this a cream puff? What is oh, this? Let me, let me cut it, man. Just bite it. No, it's leaking. Is it cheese coming out of there? That's, I think it's ice cream. It is cold. Is it cold? Fried ice cream. I thought it was. From Chi Chi's. I remember Chi Chi's was really pushing that fried ice cream. Didn't make me go though. Pushing it right in your mouth if you go in there. It's a great combination. Yeah. Hmm. How do they do that? That's magic. Okay. Link's up to bat first because he's in the lead. I, I, this is probably a pre Chi Chi's invention. I mean, a, you think Chi Chi's invented this? A pre Chi Chi's invention? Yeah. I'm going to get my bearings with Chi Chi's, which well, I when think. When was Chi invented? Came out in the 80s. I don't know. The 80s? Fried ice cream. It's such a strange envelope pushing concept 
that I think you've got to get later in time to need to get that creative. I'm going to split the diff between 90 and 80. Oh, okay. That's kind of what I wanted. Pretty impressive. I've given you something to contend with here. Well, my puck in the middle of the triangle. The funny thing is, Link, is that 70 is actually what I was thinking would be the best guess because I feel like I almost assuredly saw this advertised in the 80s. You talking about Chi Chi's? Chi Chi's. Fried ice cream. Fried. Fried ice cream. Now at Chi Chi's. Next time we'll pick a key. Um, You're gonna, so this is a bump fest. This is a bump fest. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit you here and knock you into 1890 so that I've got the 70s and the 80s and maybe even the 60s covered. But I think the 70s is a good answer, but I, don't, I gotta hit you hard enough to not get you into the 80s because it could have come out in the 80s. Bump fest! What a bump! Brett has sent me as far away from anything that could secure a, a point. Mission accomplished. While fried ice cream became a huge trend in Japanese tempura restaurants in the 1960s... You about Chi Chi's? No. It was at the Chicago World's Fair oh, that God. a frozen scoop of crispy battered flash fried ice cream was first created in... 1893. <laughs> what? We're stupid. What? And I will celebrate it. Man, I, I sent you right to the right answer. You <laughs> should let me have some of that Sprite if you Bump want it. fest. Okay, let me know if I'm doing this right. That's great. Well, that was quite annoying. Oh, when somebody else did it, it was annoying? What is this, a fried pickle? That's a fried pickle. Now, you gotta watch out for a fried pickle because those things are usually so hot. That's fried deal. Hmm. All right, Link, you're still up. Hmm. Peel, pulling away, 2-0 lead. Fried pickles are Lando's recent obsession. I feel like this is a very recent thing, but maybe it's that I never was really interested in a fried pickle until my youngest son was, and I, you're taking I an desperately interest. want to connect with him. You know what I was thinking as you were standing there? <laughs> what, Rhett? I was like, man. That onesie that Link's got on looks good. You know what else I can do? I can go full hooded onesie. Uh-huh. I can zip it up all the way. Right. And you can get one too as a member of the Mythical Society. All you gotta do is sign up for a third degree quarterly or annual by September 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details. It's the perfect thickness, which is a thinness. Yeah, I'm naked underneath and I feel great. The sad truth is I know that he's not lying. All right. So back to Lando. <laughs> I think this could be 1990. I mean, it could be 2000. But a bump, if you set yourself at 2000, a bump fest is very risky for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, these things don't move very much. I'm gonna go over here between 2000 and 1990. Stop! 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 Well, you're on fire with the uh, I got some your, accuracy, your accuracy yeah. today. Now, you're right about these things being like popular in restaurants more recently. Uh huh. But I have to think that fried pickles is something that has been around for much longer than that. I think it might be 70s, 80s, 60s, that territory. So you don't want to bump me. I don't want to bump you. I just want to get on, I just want to land on 70 and then have basically that end of the board to contend with. Maybe try it full hood. Like hood it up? Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's complicated when you've got this much hair, but just Come on. so you know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, now I can't even see. Really nice. All right, this may mess up my accuracy to get to 1970. It's a little slow, but it's creeping. Okay, well, it's closer to all the answers that I wanted, so. This fried sports bar favorite hails from Atkins, Arkansas, where the owner of the Duchess Drive-In, Burnell Fatman Austin, first fried some dill pickle chips and catfish batter in 1963. All right. Ooh, you have won, but it's, it's an ugly point. Oh, come on, but I said 60s, 70s, 80s, man. I think that was well played. Unclosed. You want to try my technique? Oh yeah, what would that be like? Take a couple of steps and then just place delicately it delicately place it on the. You like that? The nicest thing like about this game is that you don't know what it is until you take a bite out of it. 
Yeah, because it's a deep fried. Oh, goodness, that's oozy. Is it cinnamony? Does it almost melt in your mouth? Yeah, yeah, it's really, really good. Is it ice? The melt was the, uh, yeah, was the hint part. It's uh, deep fried butter. What? I, I've seen this at state fairs, God. but I haven't had the guts to get it. Oh, Lord, that's that, good. That is, that is, oh, that is good. Man. I thought it was oh. deep fried fried. I've had two of them. I'll have all of them if you don't get me away from them. So because I'm winning, I still... Okay. Two to one, man. Deep fried butter. Gosh. I would venture to guess that it was started at fairs. Started at you fairs. You know, the county or state variety. Most of the best ideas are started at state fairs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Space, yeah. space travel. Auctions. Yeah. Milking contests. Yeah. Big pumpkins. Uh, making out on Ferris wheels with your... With your teenage girlfriend? Been there, done that. Deep fried butter. I don't remember that being at the North Carolina State Fair in the late 80s. I think it's a 90s thing. I think that's when the fair explosion of what else can we deep fry really started to happen. 1990 is my answer. All right, I'm just going to emphatically go for 90. Do it emphatically. Make a grunt while you do it. Ah. Oh, that's short, that's short, that's short. Oh, that's no, short. That, that's actually, that's, that's pretty good. That's still pretty good. All right. You're a little bit short. I'm inviting the bump, and I don't even care. Well, I actually think you're on the right answer, friend, because I think that the deep fried craze is something that probably started getting going in the late 90s, oh. but deep fried butter, like frying something that you fry something in. You think it's I think that's in. two. I think that's 2000s. I think you're actually on the right answer, so it is my sworn duty to bump you. It's 90 or 2000, I'm almost sure. So I gotta basically just get you to the back and remain there. Oh, that hurts! Come on back, come on! Oh, man. So it might be 80 and you're still there, but I think- That would've creeped all the way back. Deep fried butter, a literal pad of butter that's been battered, deep fried, and finished with honey and powdered sugar, was created by chef Abel Gonzalez Jr., AKA Fried Jesus, for the State Fair of Texas in 2009. Yeah. You were right, Rhett. Damn it, tied it up. Da -da 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 Jesus. Ice, ice, baby. A deep fried turkey. This thing could kill you in multiple ways. Oh, man. There's a slice for you over here already. Oh, is there? Yeah, just okay. because the slicing is. Made it easy. The dicing is. Mmm. I'm a ham man, but I'm not going to complain man, about a, deep... a nice outer skin piece of juicy deep fried turkey. That's the best part turkey. of the deep fried turkey. Mm, that is goodness. Okay, so we're tied. Mm. I won last time, but we're in the middle of a bump fest. I'm pretty sure there's a rule. We need to consult the, the scroll. scroll. People are like, oh God, they're consulting the scroll. I hate this part. What kind of, what kind of just fast forward through this oh, part? Oh, oh, oh. Because it takes them so long to even know which way the scroll goes. Yeah, I fast so forward. many rules. I fast forward through this part and I talk about it on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you know who scroll you are. Scroll O Shuffle Rules State. Ah, here it is. Should two foes be in the midst of a bump fest and enter the final round in a tie? That yes. is our situation. That is what we're doing. We are doing that. Bumps are duck forbidden. Ha! Should anyone disobey and bump in that final round, their right hand will be cut. What, cut off? Only jesting. Ha, there's a joke in the scroll. <laughs> the standard illegal bump penalty applies. When an illegal bump doth occurreth, the offending player's puck is moved wherever their opponent chooses, and the opponent's puck is returned to its pre-bump position. Okay, and what's not in here is the fact that now, because I won last time, you get the advantage, which actually would be going first in the final round because Since it makes it difficult me. for me to not bump. And if I do bump you, you get to put yours back where it was and place mine wherever you want. Thank you, gracious scroll. <laughs> but that needs to be added to the scroll. Yeah, we got to add that. Whatever I just said, add that to the scroll for next time. There we go. So you go first, deep fried turkey. Yeah, so I, I just get the slight advantage because I haven't been leading most recently. Deep fried turkey, let's see, the first time I tried to deep fry a turkey, I got cold feet and I was just like, all right, I need to get 
Lewis to do it. He stepped up to the plate and it was good, good, good. Yeah, man, it's so good. I've done it a um, couple of times. Did it last last Thanksgiving? I mean, that was definitely the 2000s. That's been taken. I'm starting to feel like it's 90s. I, I just don't think in the 80s, people weren't talking about this in the 80s or earlier. I think this is 1990. Do your worst. You stop. Yes! I have made it tough for you. If you agree with my answer. I agree. I'm 100% I'm in 1990. Would you have said 2000 if that hadn't been if taken? If 2000 hadn't been taken, I would have been on the fence. Yeah. Because 2000s is when we started talking about it. But I remember like 2005 trying it for the first time back in North Carolina. So yeah, you're definitely on the right answer. Gosh. What if I land in 90? There's no way I can be more in 90 than you. So do you win automatically? You might want to go for 80. I, I want to just make sure that I don't think I can go for 90. Because yeah. I can't touch you, and if I land on it, we, it's whoever's more in 90 wins the, gets the point. Right. So you technically have 90 b b blocked out. Let me just say, I think you've won. At this point, I'm just going for the off chance that somebody decided to do this in 1980. What about 1920? I don't think it happened then, so I'm going to 80. He's on a wing and a prayer, and he's overshot 80. But not. For the most, not really. You're good. The deep fried turkey trend led to nearly 500 homes burning down in the year 1998 alone. However, Cajun chef and personality Justin Wilson was the first person to publicly declare he'd seen someone deep fry a turkey all the way back in the 19. 30s. Oh, well, you're still closer. We were both wrong, but you were less wrong. Justin Wilson. Justin Wilson, may he rest in peace. He I guarantee. He is dead, right? He'd be like 140 now. I won. It was ugly, but give me that deep fried Sprite. Yes. Don't be shy. I was hoping it would just be a can. How does this work? Hopefully you'll let me get a nibble of that and give me a little mm. more. Congratulations. Look what Mike. I found. And thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. It tastes good. Hi, we're the Fulford family from Virginia. And we're doing a Fulford family fast food feast for our son's 11th birthday. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. A Fulford family fast food feast. Happy Five birthday, buddy. Apps. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us determine which fast food chicken sandwich has the tastiest buns in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. To get the Mythical Society onesie, join third degree quarterly or annual by September 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.